was just an idea I had. I didn't know what else to do. <laughs> Hey guys, here's Cyber with another RuneScape video for you. Um, first thing I'm going to show you is how to make money off of blue dragons. And what I'm showing you is um, the materials you'll need. Teleport to Falador, your dragon fire shield. Um, I use a staff of air to get the air runes so I don't have to carry those in my inventory. You can also use teletabs. That works just as well. And... I've got Boots of Lightness and a Spotted Cape going on. Um, I do use a uh, Spirit Terror Bird to carry a little extra pile of scales because, I mean, why not grab a few extra while you're there and make it a little more money. Um, I don't use the Tireless Run, though, although you very well could. It's... <clears throat> excuse me. Uh... Whatever you prefer, really. Uh, I'm sure if you have some kind of summoning creature that'll carry more than a terror bird, go ahead and use that, and you can pick up even more. Now, the method I use does require 70 agility to get through here quickly, and that is a pain in the butt to get. But, hey, it helps this out greatly. Now... Normally, there are a bunch of people at the Blue Dragons, so you don't even have to worry about getting attacked. But you take the shield just in case it happens. Um, you should be fine, though. But because they are here, I would recommend you be a higher combat level. Uh, other than that, there's not really too much else to say. Um, I'll just uh, let it run through here. Um... So, basically the only things you'll need are the shield, a teleport, maybe a creature if you want it, and like I said, you could use the uh, tireless run scrolls Sorry, that the spirit terror bird has. That would probably work just fine for you. Now, I did a little bit of math, and I think that you can gather enough right now to make around 360k an hour so it's not like an amazing money method but if you're short on cash and you need like one mil in a few hours you can make it happen um, the prices of these things really fluctuate quite a bit and right now they're on the low side but a while ago they were 1400 a piece and at 1400 apiece, that's 700 k an hour. So if they ever go back up, you're going to be rolling in it. Um, however, if everybody starts doing this sort of thing, it uh, might not work out. You can even make money if you collect them and then use a pestle and mortar to grind them down. You'll make another 150 to 200 GP each, but I don't know if they'll sell as quickly. Who knows? There is a little speculation that you can buy the unground ones and grind them up for profit, but, well, I don't really do it. Then you get back here, just hit your bank, deposit it all, click the button to deposit from your familiar, and there's one trip down. Pretty simple. Moving on to the next method requires the quests that... Are, they're not terrible, but quests take time, they take requirements, and that's what sucks. But you will need at least the Throne of Miscellanea. But let me tell you, it's easy money. It's not quick money, but it's easy. The second quest is Royal Trouble, which it, it's not needed, but it will help you out in your money making. Um... What I'm doing here is going up to um, Miscellanea, which I'm using the fairy ring and using the code CIP. <laughs> Weird, huh? CIP? <laughs> but um, if you don't have the fairy ring network, you're going to have to use uh, some way to get to... What is it? The Fremenic province? 
Relica or something like that, and you take your boat up from there. I mean, if you do the quest, you'll know how to get to the island, I guarantee it. And bring an axe with you, because this is the fastest way that I know how to get your reputation up. You have to get your reputation up to 100% to get the most out of your items. I don't know why there's a little black screen right here. I'm really sorry about that. And um, as you can see, he's thanking me for it. And when you get this little message right here, it means you're done. And that you can go check on your supplies or whatever. Um, so just take a regular axe. You can't use the Inferno Adzi or whatever because they don't want you to burn the logs since you're supposed to give them to the guy. But go cut maples until he gives you that message. And then you'll be at 100%. And you want to keep doing that. Um, maybe split up a week. Do it the third or fourth day out of a week. And then come here and collect all your materials. You can set them to do wood cutting, farming, which is what the two that I have. And I've got a U seed there, which is 70k. And, I mean, you'll get money like crazy. It's easy. You don't even have to do anything except... Put money in and money comes back out. Um, which is the main problem with this one. It takes... I've heard 1.25 mil for one week of work from them. Which, I don't know if you're going to be able to see that or not, but my, my amount of money is in there. And those are all the options there. I've got 10 of them in wood cutting and 5 in farming and you can raise or lower the number but um the materials that I gathered here is from Friday to uh Tuesday I think three or four days cuz I don't know if it's Monday or Tuesday but three or four days and I got all that so he deposits it deposits it right to your bank and I'm gonna show you a little bit what you can do with some of the birds nests that you get from wood cutting cuz those are a bit of money However, they are dropping as well. Um, you go in there, uh, remove all the seeds and rings from your bird's nests, and once again, grab your pestle and mortar, and grind up the bird's nests, and I'll show you here in a second. Fucking lag. Holy shit. Come on. Okay. Grab 14 of them out of there. Don't need the pestle yet. Here's all the seeds, and it's going to take me a little bit here because I freaking find a magic seed or something. Pretty sure. Yeah, spirit seed. That's what it is. And it'll be my first spirit tree seed. Eh, but there you go. Crush them all. And. I'm going to show you in a second how much they're each worth. I I believe they're dropping because I think they used to be 6k a piece. But they're used to make Ceridome and Bruise, and the higher players use those. So that right there is going to be a good chunk of money if you get a ton of bird's nests from wood cutting and such. <clears throat> Plus you'll get um, more seeds out of the nests, which gives you a higher chance of getting the U seeds and magic tree seeds, I think. I don't know. But see, there's 800k, and it took me, I think, three to f three to four hundred k to get all that money. So it pretty much doubles your money, and all you have to do is sit around and wait for it to happen. Except for raising your stuff once a week. And finally, <clears throat> sorry, I'm just got a bunch of crud in my throat. One of the easiest things to do, even low-level players can do this, gathering clue scrolls. I mean, there's not a whole lot to it, just, you can, I mean, like I said, even if you're low-level, you can fight goblins here and work until you get a level one scroll. It does take time, though, and, but, I mean, heck, I did a level one clue scroll the other day got 3 mil out of it because of a uh, Zamorak page 4. So even level 1s are giving good stuff. 
And, um, I mean, it's completely random as far as how long it'll take and what you'll get. It's kind of like playing the lottery. You're probably not going to win big all the time, but it'll be nice when you do. Um, I think the most I've made off of a clue is at Zamorak page 4. But, heck, if you do level 2s, which can be dropped from, say, the guards in Varrock, you can get ranger boots, and those are almost 30 million. I mean, they are hard to find, yes, but it can still be done. However, level 2s and up have coordinates in them, and you're going to need a watch, chart, and sextant for all that, and those have to be gathered from the observatory somehow, I believe. And But once you get them, you're fine, you're set. There are websites all over to help you with, like, where to find the coordinates, where the riddle answers are, stuff like that. Nothing to worry about. But typically, the higher level the monster, the better the clue, the better the reward. And here I'm just showing you, like, the end of a reward. This is not a level 1. This is the end of a level 3. And, I mean, typical level 3 got the rune plate and some Zamorak arrows. It's around 200k. I mean, it's good money. It's easy money. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the vid. Um, go ahead and let me know what you think. Let me know if there's anything you'd like to see, and I'll get back to you guys. Thanks for watching.